Hi, I'm Mohammed Usman. In this video, I'm going to show you how to open files and folder from Contacts Menu. After that, I will show you uh, open files and folder from Control Panel and also my computer. After installing these two registry key, you can open a files and folder from there inside of directory, any directory or subfolder. You can open for a folder and desktop. This registry key file will help you. For desktop only, you must have to install this key. Or you, if you want to use this both key means you can also use both the keys. Uh, after that, I will show you class ID. Just go to this registry, uh, open registry editor. Open to the, uh, just go to this registry key location. If you are using editing using registry key file, registry editor means you don't need to add double slash. If you are using registry key file to without editing, uh, registry editor means you must have to add double slash for file location or folder location or exe. If you are using exe means you don't need to add this code for folders or for some files. You must have to add this code. Copy the location of folder. Paste it. See the folder is open. You can also open from any directory, C drive or any drive. If you are uh, want to try to open file or something, copy the location. Paste it. Now you can open that file also. You can also change the position. Create new string value. You can also type in small letter. With the position changer, you can also change the icon, copy the icon location, paste it, icon, icon is changed, you can also, oh, another method I will show you to change the icon, if you, are, if you want to get the icon from DLL or some exe name, just go and browse the icon, for this demo, I select this icon, hit ok, apply, ok. Type desktop.ini. Copy the location of that icon. Paste it. See that icon is changed. You can also open the file. Now I will show you editing using the registry key file. You can also change the name. You can also change the name by typing. You can also change the name from here. Copy the command. Copy the location. You can also add folder or exe. If you are using exe, you don't need to add. Save it. This key only appears on desktop. It won't appear on any directory. I didn't save properly. Make sure that you must have to add double slash. If you are using registry key file means install. Change it. You can, if you want to uh, open the folder file, it will open only from desktop. You can also, if you want to delete, means just go to this key and delete. And the same method for this, just go to this key and delete these keys. 
before creating class ID, we must have to check whether the class ID is registered or not. Make sure that you must have to enable these three keys. These are all the sample key files. Before creating class ID, you must have to create a restore point because if anything goes wrong, means you can restore your system. Uh, these are all the sample. And you must have to add 8 digit 4, 4, and 12. Don't add a extra digit or less digit, won't work properly. And if the class ID is already register means don't create the class ID. You must have to change um change the number each of it. If you change the any class ID means you must have to add or change this all class ID. Uh, if you want to delete this class ID means just go to the class ID location and delete it. You can also delete the uh, from my computer location or control panel location means just go to this key location and delete the class ID. I didn't create zero because the class ID is registered in my system. Make sure that if you're searching before installing the key file, you must have to search. See that the class ID is registered in my system, so I can't create this. Install it. I didn't add the control panel. Save it. See that you can open the control panel or my computer location. Go to the class ID. You want to change the icon. Copy the location. If you want to change the name, um, this is the info tip. It will appear when you move your cursor. See that space it didn't show exact space is shown, but that when you move your cursor, see that. This time I am going to open the exe file, copy the location, if you are using register editor means don't add double slash, if you are using file to open or folder open you must have to add explore.exe command, exe root command, hit ok, open my computer, See that exe file is open. We can also open from my computer also. So sorry, control panel. That's it. Thanks for watching.